Chancellor Olaf Scholz dropped a bomb last night at 9.30 p.m. While the whole world was still focused on the USA and newly elected President Donald Trump, Olaf Scholz stepped up to the press and announced effectively that his coalition government would soon face a critical vote. In the first session of the Bundestag in the new year, he plans to call for a vote of confidence on January 15th, giving Bundestag members the chance to decide whether to pave the way for early elections, which could take place as early as March, in line with the constitutional deadlines. A vote of confidence in January, a possible new election in March. This, according to Chancellor Olaf Scholz, means the current federal government could be at its end. So, what are the reasons behind this and what happens next? Let's get into it. The collapse of Germany's coalition government is a complex issue with many moving parts. For the latest developments, you can check the live blog linked in the comments. This video was filmed early Thursday morning, capturing the current state of events. Here's the situation so far. What happened is something that didn't entirely surprise many observers, though the timing came as a shock. On the same day, it was confirmed that Donald Trump would be the next president of the United States, Olaf Scholz, Germany's chancellor, appeared before the press to announce that his traffic light coalition, consisting of the SPD, Greens and FDP, was effectively ending. Scholz stated, I have asked President Frank-Walter Steinmeier to dismiss Finance Minister and FDP leader Christian Lindner from his role. This effectively means the FDP is leaving the government, and shortly afterward three other FDP ministers also announced their resignations. Scholz was undoubtedly aware of the consequences of this step. Now the government is no longer as we once knew it, it consists only of the SPD and Greens and no longer holds a majority in the Bundestag. In a prepared statement read from a teleprompter, Scholz placed the blame squarely on FDP leader Christian Lindner, harshly criticizing his conduct. Scholz stated that Lindner prioritized party interests over the country's welfare, proposing policies incompatible with Scholz's vision, including substantial tax cuts for high earners alongside pension cuts. Adding to the controversy, Lindner has previously faced scrutiny over potential conflicts of interest. Earlier in 2023, reports emerged that he had taken out a large personal loan from Bibi Bank shortly before speaking at the bank's centenary event in his official capacity as finance minister. Though this event did not lead to formal charges, it raised questions about the ethical responsibilities of public officials. Scholz, in his statement, further implied that Lindner's recent push for policies favoring high earners over other groups, particularly pensioners, underscored a pattern of prioritizing personal and political interests over public good. Lindner, unsurprisingly, sees it very differently, claiming that Scholz's leadership weakness was the issue, unable to hold the coalition together. Lindner pointed to Scholz's recent demand to suspend the constitutionally mandated debt break, which Lindner opposed to avoid violating his oath of office. This escalating discord isn't as sudden as it may appear. Since the traffic light coalition's inception in 2021 amid the COVID-19 pandemic, SPD, Greens and FDP have clashed on numerous issues, from fiscal policy to handling economic crises. Olaf Scholz's statement highlighted these political differences, and apparently the Greens are also willing to continue governing with the SPD alone, leaving the FDP behind. Scholz's decision to move toward a vote of confidence follows mounting public sentiment favoring an end to the coalition. While the coalition had some successes, including implementing over two-thirds of their planned policies according to a study by the Bertelsmann Foundation, the internal conflicts overshadowed these achievements. Scholz's proposal to seek a vote of confidence is intended to either consolidate support or lead to new elections. How will things proceed? Olaf Scholz announced his intention to continue governing with the Greens and to fill the now vacant ministerial posts. He also expressed his openness to talks with CDU leader Friedrich Merz to address critical topics before year's end. On January 15th, 
The planned vote of confidence could, if unsuccessful, lead to new elections in March, potentially resulting in another grand coalition, with the SPD possibly taking a junior partner role. These events are still developing, with more reactions expected throughout the day, and the situation in Saxony adds further political instability. Coalition talks between the CDU, SPD and the free voters in Saxony have failed, raising new questions about the future government. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these developments. Do you think the traffic light coalition should end? Or could there be another way forward? Share your thoughts in the comments. Additionally, check out the linked channel for more coverage on this topic and a look at why Olaf Scholz's popularity has waned. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.